So here's a quick look at how I get articles from the web into Pocket and then from Pocket into Roam in a way that makes sense for me. So we pulled this article here from Kyle called What Do You Want to Want? It's a pretty long article. So I'll click the little Add to Pocket extension and that drops it into Pocket for me. So in Pocket, I have it. It has a nice clean version I can look at. I can look at this on my tablet, on my phone, wherever. Take my time reading through it and use the highlight feature to highlight pieces I want. So if we scroll down, um, I highlighted this a while ago. Uh, we've got pieces here I've highlighted. So again, if you want, just grab some text, hit highlight, it highlights it for you. When I'm done, I'll then click the little highlight button. It'll put all my highlights on the side. There are ways to kind of pull them out cleaner, but I'll just kind of grab them here. This is more than I would normally have, but I'll just copy those. Um, and then in my notes, uh, usually just in my daily notes, I'll put something like, I read, what do you want to want? You want to want, if I can spell. There we go. I'm going to open that up. And what I'll do next here is I have my metadata. So I'll open that up just to give me some things and articles. So I'll take this article metadata, drop it in here, give me a place to start. Um, so the author of this article is Kyle Estenschroeder. So I will add him in here and make a page for him because hopefully I'll have other articles from him at some point. Um, give it some topics or tags or whatever, um, you know, that's up to you. I kind of have my topics and tags. You could maybe do it different ways. I uh, usually put a URL to the original source. So go back out here, grab the original source, paste it in here. But then I also have a link to keeping it in pocket just in case the original goes away or something. I can reference that quickly. So I'll go here and paste that in. And then my summary. And this is what I'll put in my notes from pocket. So I'll go back out here again. Um, I copied it once, but let's copy them again here. So I'll paste those in. Now, again, there's probably ways to do it cleaner, um, but I just do that. I usually don't have that many highlights, so I'll kind of clean out some of those um, as I work my way through. But then I'll look for things that I maybe want to tag in here for other things. So Aristotle looks like something I may want to reference later or you know, may want to link to. Um, Friedrich Nietzsche, grab him in there. Um, this is where I'll kind of go through. Really, that's kind of an interesting one. So I'll probably tag that as a quote, too. Just I may want to reference that later. I have a lot of quotes I keep, so I'll have quotes there. Uh, Martin Luther King. So again, I want to get just him, not the S in there. So that way it just goes to his page and kind of work my story. And that's really about what I do with it. Um, I just kind of do that for whatever else. I'll try to add more if I have other thoughts um, about a specific topic. In theory, I should go through, like Tiago Forte would say, some progressive summarization to kind of shrink this down and give more of my insights to it. You know, copying highlights is not, not the end game here is to really understand that. So in theory, under each one, I would add some of my own notes uh, I won't do that here for you, but you could kind of do that depending on what you're reading. But once I get it cleaned up, I'll have it referenced on my daily notes for today. Again, yeah, here's another uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson quote. So I would you know, bracket him in there and then call it a quote as well to have that. But again, that's basically what I do for articles I read. So I spend most of the time in pocket. You know, again, this is a pretty long article. I spent quite a while reading through it, highlighting things, getting thoughts. Uh, but then for long-term storage, it goes in here, and this works pretty well, because then if I ever mention Kyle again, it'll reference over to this. Hopefully some of these pieces tie in, and again, in theory, I had my own thoughts to truly understand uh, what's been going on. But that's just a quick look at the process for getting from a web article to Pocket to Rome.